When it comes to reminiscing over old consoles, the Nintendo GameCube is often overlooked. Some may point, laugh, and mock the chubby wee purple box, with its minuscule discs, cartoonish nature, and brightly coloured controllers all putting serious gamers off. Well, guess what? Those people totally missed out. The GameCube is and will always be one of the most severely underrated games consoles of all time. It was in fact a tremendous little machine with a wide array of outstanding exclusives. My name is Rach from What Culture Gaming and let's look at 10 GameCube games that prove it's the most underrated console ever. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. Number 10. Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Trippy, spooky, and unsettling, Eternal Darkness brought a dose of rarely seen horror to the cube, but it was far more than just a few jump scares and monsters. The entire game was built to wreak havoc on your mind. Rooms spin, characters change size, illusions are happening left, right, and center, noises screech from every direction, and blood oozes from walls and ceilings. The main narrative of the game switches between characters as they work to complete specific tasks and also offers multiple story paths. Gameplay wasn't a million miles away from that of the Resident Evil series, but with unique features like spell casting and sanity effects. Players will need to invest a bit of time into this game for it to have the full effect, but it's one of the spookiest GameCube games you could hope to find. Number 9. Paper Mario – The Thousand Year Door Paper Mario was the spin-off that we never knew we needed. The Thousand Year Door is the second in the Paper Mario series and was a gorgeous game that lay somewhere between side-scroller and RPG. Combat was turn-based and performed in front of a live Toad audience who could cheer for Mario and send little Hunger Games-style care packages for him. Puzzles could be solved by folding Mario into a neat little origami airplane or a boat, and objects can be blown aside to reveal secret passageways, exactly as if they were made out of paper. It was a refreshing change from other Mario titles, even allowing players control of Bowser and Princess Peach at certain points. If the adorable mix of 2D and 3D graphics doesn't win you over, then the hilarious story certainly will. Number 8. Animal Crossing Animal Crossing was a revolution, and there's absolutely no shame in admitting you were caught up in the craze at one stage or another. Originally released for the N64 in Japan, it eventually washed ashore in the West for the GameCube. You play as a little human character who moves to live in a quiet, peaceful town populated by animals. It's open-ended, with little preset plot or mandatory tasks. It was like living a double life. Certain fish could only be caught at certain times. Events would take place on particular days of the week. It had day and night cycles and, of course, seasonal holidays. It was a phenomenal game, truly ahead of its time. No wonder it's still such a huge hit today on more modern consoles. Number 7. Mario Kart Double Dash Mario Kart Double Dash further raised a bar already set incredibly high by its predecessors. The fourth game in the series, this was the first and only title to put two characters together in one cart. The courses were absolutely sublime, and not only was the roster much larger than games before, but each character also had unique items available only to them. Bowser had a giant Koopa shell, Mario and Luigi could throw fireballs, and the babies had chain chomps on leashes to pull them along. Aww. Add that to an expansive battle mode with new and brilliant courses, four player multiplayer, be it every player for themselves or two on two in co-op, and you had a Mario Kart you could really sink hours upon hours into. Number 6. Pikmin 2 Pikmin is one of the most uniquely sensational game series in modern times. Explore the surface of a giant unknown planet with an army of minions just waiting to be farmed, plucked, and sent to do your bidding. It's blissful wandering around the lush environments, distributing your army to retrieve batteries, scraps, and parts for your ship. Each little Pikmin has different strengths and weaknesses and you'll need to adapt to protect each group. You could send the entirety of your minions to carry back an enormous orange, but keep an eye on that sunset or you'll immediately lose every single Pikmin to ferocious nocturnal predators. 
the multiplayer mode was equally fun and equally cruel. It's truly a beautiful game. Number 5. Super Mario Sunshine When the dastardly Shadow Mario vandalizes the tropical Isle Delfino and holiday goer Mario gets blamed for the mess, it's up to Mario and his trusty Flood, that's Flash Liquidizer Ultra Dowsing Device, to clean up the town. The concept of Super Mario Sunshine was so typically Nintendo, seeing Mario sloshing around the island mopping up toxic sludge, earning shines and exploring some colorful locations. Not to mention you can also ride a fruit-eating, juice-spitting, tongue-lashing Yoshi. It was a great addition to the 3D Mario series, with everything that Super Mario 64 did right, but also new features overflowing with creativity and innovation. It certainly made a splash and has been one of the best-selling GameCube games of all time. Number 4. The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker when the first screenshots emerged of Wind Waker's cel-shaded graphics, there were shocked fans around the world seriously starting to doubt that the classic N64 titles would ever have worthy successors. Instead, thankfully it became very clear that Nintendo had produced something utterly beautiful. Controlling the wind was a brilliant take on the usual ocarina songs, and it featured new items such as the Picto Box, Grappling Hook and Tingle Turner which actually enabled multiplayer gameplay when linked with a Game Boy Advance. The Great Sea World was expansive, unique in the fact that you seamlessly sail between each destination. Most importantly, it did keep that unique Zelda charm despite being such a different take on the game graphically. Number 3. Metroid Prime Many didn't think that Nintendo had it in them to create a top-of-the-range revolutionary game that didn't involve a character wearing either a red or green cap. But Metroid Prime blew those doubters away with a glorious 3D installment to the franchise that had previously only been played side-scroller. The story was rich and the gameplay was immensely fun, but it was the minor details that really took an already brilliant game to the very top level. The visor view was spectacular and added a new layer of immersion to the standard first-person shooter style. In a certain light, at certain angles, you could even see the reflection of Samus's face subtly illuminate the screen. It was touches like that which may seem small individually, but added together to create one heck of a masterpiece. Number 2. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess Zelda fans are some of the most patient in the world, with our beloved games historically being repeatedly delayed. Twilight Princess was no exception. Nintendo poured so much time and passion into the GameCube game that it was delayed until the Wii came along. Still, the trusty Purple Cube would not crumble and smoothly harness the power of Twilight Princess. It was an immense swan song for the machine and it really showed off what it was capable of. Fans got their much-craved, realistic-style Zelda with Hyrule brought onto a huge scale. The story was darker, more reminiscent of Majora's Mask and it was immensely enjoyable, challenging and everything you'd want from a Zelda title. Again, we had new gear for Link to try as well as old favourites, with the completely new dynamic of shape-shifting into beast form to track scents, dig up treasure and commune with spirits. It really was a howling good time. Number 1. Super Smash Bros. Melee Super Smash Bros. Melee was Nintendo and its GameCube at their absolute finest. Featuring an impressive roster of 26 playable characters from across Nintendo's many beloved franchises, as well as stages and items both new and old. It catered for everyone. If you preferred to enjoy the game solo, you had the classic mode and the adventure mode to teach you the basics, try out all the characters and hone your fighting skills. When you got to multiplayer, then you had a smorgasbord of ways to defeat and humiliate your friends. There's a reason this best-selling GameCube title is still being played in esports tournaments to this day. Whether you enjoyed Melee as a fast-paced fighting game or a hilariously fun party game, it had real heart and a vast depth of content. Nintendo never were afraid to be playful with their own franchises, and it has resulted in everlasting memorability for the Nintendo GameCube.